Hi everybody, today is Tuesday and you might be wondering why I am wearing my jacket while I'm at home. It's because I'm going to the park and that's why I'm also filming on a Tuesday. Um, I'm going to the park to see uh, Lisanna. She's there right now and, and I'm going to see her right now. So it's going to be fun. I'm wearing my new Sully cap, which I bought at Jessica's, which is a cast member shop. It is amazing. I love it. I love Silly. It might not match very well with my outfit of the day, but I don't care. I feel like I need a little bit Disney magic. So, yes, I'm going to the bus. I'm here. I'm now going to get my tickets. half past nine and I just got back from the park. I had a very lovely evening uh, together with uh, Lisona and her friend. Let's see, what did we do? We did Autopia, which was really really fun. Um, I still have some trouble uh, driving. I mean, driving is easy, but keeping your car in the right direction, mm, that's not made for me. Um, but anyway, it was very, very fun to do and let's see, we we also did the Haunted Mansion and it was so funny because when we entered the ride, Lisanna was a little bit scared, so we went together in a car thingy, so we went together and there was this guy who was um, standing um, at the beginning of the ride and he's the one who makes sure that you're are seated correctly um, so it was like hello girls and then he was squeezing in the mini ears of Lisona and he was saying cute in a very creepy voice <laughs> so we were like okay but then <laughs> he appeared behind our car so like at first he was like squeezing in the ears he was saying cute and then he he walked to the next um, car and then he came back and he scared the hell out of us like it was so scary and fun at the same time, but we were scared during the entire ride. I don't know what I will do for tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, but for Friday evening, I will go to the Buffalo Bill Wild West show. So I'm very looking forward to that one. Um, I'm going with the entire training team and we are actually getting paid to eat. Strange job, right? Yeah, that's all I had to say for now. <laughs> Durant Ruel, le véritable Fernand et Béni des impressions. 
evening I went to see the Buffalo Bill Wild West show um, as a part of my training and I actually had the most amazing time ever since I've been here. I laughed a lot and I really mean a lot. I really had a good time and I really enjoyed myself. I had uh, the vegetarian meal during the show and I was quite concerned that it wouldn't be that amazing but I wasn't that disappointed. <laughs> it sounds very negative but the food actually was pretty good but it was just way too much and the vegetables were a little bit cold. Um, the chili was amazing. It was way better than my chili. <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed this show. It was so much fun. I didn't know what to expect. Um, you know, I had the, my training and I know like what the show was about. But still, I couldn't really see how, how a show like that would look like. I mean, I just couldn't imagine anything. Uh, I just couldn't really see the point of going there. And to be honest, if um, my training didn't give me this opportunity to go, I don't think I would ever have gone to the Buffalo Bill of Asia because first of all, it's very, very expensive. And second of all, I don't really like cowboys and things like that. But this actually was really, really fun. Coming from me, somebody that doesn't like cowboys and stuff like that, I really enjoyed myself. And when you go to the show, you have like four groups who are kind of like competing. We were in the red team and <laughs> and there was this guy, this cowboy guy, which was kind of like supporting our, our team. <laughs> and he, the interaction, he was just amazing. He had this... Um, ice lolly stick, I don't know if that's the correct word, stick or lollipop, um, and he was eating it <laughs> during the show, I don't know if they are allowed to, but well, I didn't really mind, um, but then he tried to get rid of the paper that was around it, and he just put it at somebody else's table, <laughs> he was like, okay, I don't care about it, just going to leave it here, so I left at him, and he saw it. from that moment on, all the time, he was like, I'm watching you. <laughs> and I don't know, I just had the most amazing interaction. It was amazing and the show itself, it was so beautiful. I was kind of feeling sad for the animals because there was a lot of noise and everything. That part I didn't really like about the show, but that was just something personal. Um, all the other stuff, it was amazing. I could really recommend it. Um, however, I do think that if you go once, I don't think I would ever go again. Um, not that it was bad, but just because I've seen it now and it, I had a good time, but I know that if I will go again, I won't probably have the same experience as this time and I don't think um, I will have a better experience at, than this time, so that's why I probably won't go again. I'm going to the park tomorrow, so I'm just going to charge up my camera as of filming this so I can film my day tomorrow. I'm planning on going really early. Um, I tried to go really early last weekend but when I got into the park I had a very very bad headache so I had to come home and then I spent my entire weekend laying in bed and just feeling ill. Um, so I won't do that again hopefully. Um, it is currently Saturday. It's half past 10 and I overslept a bit. <laughs> I wanted to do the extra magic hours, but I had my alarm set for 8. But when my alarm went off, I suddenly didn't feel like doing the extra magic hours. So I slept a little bit extra, um, just to make sure I have a lot of energy right now. And I prefer to be in the park all rested than to be in the park tired and, you know, wishing I was in bed, um, just sleeping. So that's why I'm a little bit late today. Um, but I'm leaving in about 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to eat my breakfast and I wanted to share this little life hack with you. Um, because I bought two boxes of cereals and I don't like both of them. I mean, they're, they're nice, but they're a little bit plain. So I tried to mix them. 
So as you can see, I mix both cereals and this is absolutely the best way to eat it. <laughs> I feel like I am such a genius. This is so good. So I'm just going to eat it and afterwards, hopefully I'll have some time left to book my ticket for when I go to the Netherlands next weekend and then I will go to the park. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can find the uh, Cheshire cat so I can take a photo with it. I'm going to do Snow White. Never mind. After this thing, it's not going to be a good thing. Look for the Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, old mother nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be found of my big home. The bees are buzzing in the tree to make some honey just for me. When you look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants, then maybe try a few. The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, that's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities of life. Now when you pick a pawpaw or a prickly pear, and you prick a raw paw, well next time beware. Don't pick the prickly pear by the paw. When you pick a pear, try to use the claw. But you don't need to use the claw when you pick a pear of the big paw paw. Have I given you a clue? The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. This is really living. So just try and relax. Yeah, cool it. Fall apart in my backyard. Cause let me tell you something, little Britain. If you act like that BX, uh -huh, you're working too hard. And don't spend your time looking around for something you want that can't be found when you find out you can live without it and go along not thinking about it i'll tell you something true the bare necessities of life will come to you
Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities. That's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities of life. Yeah, with just the bare necessities of life. Yeah, man. Thank you all for joining us on this beautiful day. 